So I recently started live streaming here and there and I realized that I needed to upgrade my mic. So after a totally not desperate email, I managed to convince Fafine to send me their latest mic in exchange for this review video. So here we are on Minecraft reviewing a mic because I don't have a face cam. And holy smokes, this mic is amazing. So this video is for you if you guys are looking for a new mic or you want to get more serious into content creation slash live streaming. So what's up guys, it's Asian. I wanted to start a series where I wanted to show my setup and programs to help you guys become better content creators. So let's start off with this, your mic. And even though this is a sponsored video, I have a duty to be honest and transparent with you guys. So here's my honest mic review to help you see if this mic can help jumpstart your YouTube slash Twitch channel. And just keep this in mind because I don't want to put this at the end, but there's a 30% discount code right now that expires on the 25th, which is tomorrow. But if you want to take your time, don't worry, there's a 50% off discount code right here. So make sure you make a smart purchase and I want to make sure you guys get the best deal. But anyway, back to the video. Now this mic is called the K658. Now before we really get into the features and the sound test, I'm going to explain in two minutes really quickly the difference between a USB mic and an XLR mic to understand the value of the K658. Right, so I'm not going to lie, most of you guys probably have a USB mic and I'm not a mic expert, but you kind of just think about USB mics as gaming laptops and XLR mics as gaming desktops. You can use a gaming laptop pretty easily, like you don't have to build one, you can just bring it anywhere. But on the other side, you have gaming desktops and you can build them, upgrade them, but they cost, you know, more and but they're usually more powerful. So basically that's USB and XLR mics. USB, you can just plug it in, but you can't really upgrade it. With XLR mics, you need to get something called an audio interface and then the mic itself, which can be a bit more pricey, but overall it would sound better. And the reason why I'm explaining all of this is because the K658 tries to stand right in the middle of the two. It has a USB cable so you can use it anywhere and you don't need an audio interface, but its base audio quality sounds pretty good and tries to rival an XLR. Now personally, for me, I would consider this a quote unquote budget mic. Now, yes, it's 100 to 120 bucks, but this is a USB slash XLR hybrid mic that has really good quality. And like I said, it could possibly rival an XLR with the right equipment. And yes, a good XLR mic can be like 100 bucks, like the K658. But then if you factor in the audio interface that I mentioned before, it can be another 100 or 120 bucks. So this mic is actually really good, especially if you're just, you know, if you want to be a more serious beginner and you want to take content creation a bit more seriously and go a bit more pro. Okay, so here's the box. I got some footage from a week ago when the mic came in. Inside of the mic was a built in pop filter, the USB to Type C cable to plug it in and power it, a tripod if you need it, a shock mount to attach to a boom arm, a metal ring, and then some adapters. Now I have my own boom arm because this mic doesn't come with one and it was 15 bucks and I recommend getting a bit more expensive like 20 to 30 bucks. But if you want to get this one, my link is in the description. So you know, you can use it if you want. I don't know why. But anyway, I installed the mic and the mic looks great. I ran the wire through my boom arm and the RGB started shining and I, I really do love it. And since it was a USB cable, I plugged it in and bam, and it was installed. So unbiased looks, it looks super nice. It's kind of big, it's bigger than I thought, but I really loved it. And the problem was that I had to move my boom arm in order to talk to it properly because you need to talk to it basically directly into the mic but other than that i really did enjoy it all right now let's get into the features of the k658 so like i mentioned earlier it's a dynamic usb mic with a built-in pop filter you need to speak into the mic head-on for the best audio quality and also and also this is a dynamic mic which is the opposite of a condenser mic so it's not going to pick up a ton of background noise and that's the problem that i had with my old 30 dollars for fine mic and as you can see here it has rgb you can turn it off by sliding your finger here there's a volume knob and there's a mute button that you can slide your finger on and boom it's muted it's really nice and simple so basically this entire time i was using this mic to record my commentary with filters so i'm going to take off all of my filters and see what it sounds like fresh out of the box now first thing you're going to notice is that it sounds a little bit more quiet but that's fine all you have to do is turn up the volume knob but i'm not going to do that to mess with my settings now the bass audio quality does not sound bad at all and you can get away with you know using this just like you know just like this on stream but let's just turn back our filters and we're back to sounding like this i'll make sure to note all the filters i use in my description but yeah now i'm not an audio expert like my friend thomas aka therm check out his channel by the way but i think this is pretty good for a usb mic now if you don't want this mic because it's too pricey 100 bucks is a little bit too much that's perfectly fine you know the mic that i'm going to show now got me 4 million views on youtube and this is my old mic it's a 30 dollars condenser for fine mic so the same company and i always recommend this mic for beginners especially if you're doing commentary videos but to be fair and to be completely honest it is not the best for live streaming because this mic is a condenser mic is going to pick up all of your background noise and so if you're in a loud household and you got people walking in the background i really don't recommend getting this mic but if you are on a really tight budget and you don't mind using you know audio equalizers to cut out the background audio then i really highly recommend this mic for beginner setups so my summary and more honest thoughts so i think this is a great option for content creators that live stream commentate and pretty much do like anything because in my opinion this mic is pretty affordable for a 100 bucks you get a lot of value out of something that you can probably carry until like until like you really decide to go professional so i think the k658 is a great option for content creators that live stream commentate but really especially live stream my opinion this mic is pretty affordable and remember there's a discount code that i had that will expire tomorrow so make sure you use that with the audio being in the middle of usb for convenience yet xlr for quality the price and the easy setup is not bad and i really love the clean look too the rgb is awesome too like i personally enjoy it but if you, i know a lot of people don't so you can always just turn it off now i don't really need super professional audio and i think this mic is fine especially with the filters that i have on streamlabs because you know it looks cool it's, it sounds good and i'm pretty satisfied so yeah i honestly recommend this mic to you know especially streamers i think it's great so yeah i think for fine did a really good job with this mic of course you could probably get a way better sounding mic with an xlr you know you dive into audio stuff but personally for me like as a beginner with audio this is not bad and i really do oh i just hit my mic 
as a beginner with audio quality, this is not bad. And I really do love this mic. So yeah, if you have any other questions, I'll answer them honestly in the comments. But I hope I've inspired you guys or helped you guys achieve your content creation dreams. And yeah, if you guys got this mic, let me know. I'll have a link to everything in the description. And if you want to go back to, you know, watch the sound test, just look at the description. And yeah, I'll be covering my keyboard in the next video or maybe my program. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I got to go to college now. So um, yeah, see you guys.